Early on June 5th, the Israeli Air Force conducted strikes on a Syrian military facility near Masyef. The strikes were conducted from Lebanese airspace. The Syrian Air Defense Forces intercepted several missiles, however, the rest hit their targets. The bombed facility, which is run by the Syrian Scientific Studies and Research Center, is reportedly involved in the development and manufacturing of missiles. Two improvised explosive devices exploded near a joint Russian-Turkish patrol moving along the M4 highway in southern Idlib on June 4th. The explosions happened when the patrol was passing the militant-held town of Ariha. However, they caused no damage to military vehicles or casualties among Turkish or Russian personnel. Despite the incident, the 15th Joint Patrol became even longer than all the previous ones. It started in the government-held town of Tromba, bypassed Ariha, and reached the village of Kafir Shalea. The slowly but steadily expanding length of the Russian-Turkish patrols is a visual confirmation of the implementation of the de-escalation deal reached by Moscow and Ankara. At the same time, the full implementation of the deal still faces serious difficulties due to the presence of terrorist groups in the area. For example, Hayat Tiril al Sham militants are still in control of Adiha, and recent developments show that they are not planning to sit there idly. Ankara understands this, and its forces continue expanding a network of observation posts along the M4 highway to secure the patrols. Recently, the Turkish army set up positions near Bisankul, Kafir Shalea, Ermal Jawuz, and Marian. Nonetheless, without proactive measures to put an end to the terrorist threat, the situation cannot be changed strategically. Just recently, a new wave of violence rolled across the militant-held part of Greater Idlib after Hayat Tir al-Sham detained a member of another radical militant group, Horas al-Din. The militant was detained when he was collecting taxes from locals for military purposes and kept in a Hayat Tir al-Sham run prison in Jashir al-Shagur. Later, Horas al-Din fighters stormed the prison and freed their counterpart. Earlier, Haras al-Din and the Turkestan Islamic Party criticized Hayat Tir al-Sham for having too soft a stance towards the Russian-Turkish de-escalation agreement in southern Idlib. Tensions caused by the internal struggle for influence and resources often grow among Idlib militant groups during the ceasefire phases of the conflict. Therefore, if some power wants to unite them and use them as at least a relatively homogeneous force, a new escalation would be very useful.